Y'all don't get on me. This is my first temp temp these dag on one of those. This is supposed to be 20% temp. I got it off eBay for $30. It was pretty cut. But I couldn't get the slide through right there. So oh well. The front door looks good. It's a little dirty from the, on the outside. I need to be clay board. And then this the side one. Messed up right here. Oh well. I ain't no professional. There you go. This is the driver's side. I gotta do the hatch and the other side. But it's uh cloudy out here, so can't finish all that. I've been I drove over to work today. Uh I drove the other day too, but today I drove over again. Should be okay besides the annoying cracking part. So what I did, what I'm gonna do is since I can touch the what do you call the thing, the starter solenoid from battery to the connect and then start the motor. I'm just gonna rig up a daggone push button start I bought here. Uh paid seven dollars for it. Hopefully it works, it should work, hopefully, yeah. But uh, that's gonna come in another little time. So I've been using this to crank it with, but and it works. But now I'm gonna go do some painting on the fence. Um, I need to hurry and get the AC fixed in this sucker. So I got them tinted windows now. It looks good from the inside. But you get on the outside. I sure messed it up. This is a back glass. I don't know if you can see it. I ain't even touching right there. It's got bubbles everywhere. But like I was playing to people on Facebook. <laughs> I'm not a professional. That's my first time tinting the bag on the car. And uh it went better than I actually thought so. That's it for that. Now it's time to jump in this bag on gas guzzler. I'm gonna do some painting. Well, uh, my ride quality in the rear of this car is really trash. If I hit bumps through the rear, it bottoms out. And there's original struts. So I bought some new struts. Just some old OEM struts. Um, these are filled with nitrogen, so hopefully they ride good. I mean, most of them are filled with gas, but these say nitrogen, so it is a type of gas. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah, well, I need to get the same size tires as the front, but I don't have them. I'm get them later. But these were. Uh, 40 some bucks on eBay for the two rear. I'm gonna put these on. I'm gonna set y'all up on the uh, on the tripod and let the thing work. Alrighty. <coughs> Crap. As you can see, these old ones, you can tell they've been leaking because of all that right there. Come from inside them shocks. Little struts, whatever. So they're pretty, 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 pretty blown. They're gonna get, they get replaced. I got to undo that bolt right there. Um, I mean, there's one bolt in the middle of this. <sighs> What's an easier way to? Take this out without having to take the whole thing out. There is none. Oh well. Move it on. You know, I didn't set y'all up on the tripod or anything. I didn't show y'all nothing for real. But, what I'm showing you now. This is the strut off the rear. 
uh, passenger side. I pushed it all the way down. It is not coming back up. Normally it would, you know, this rock in the center would shoot back up as soon as you let go, but I pushed it all the way down and it's not coming back up. That's how you know they're blowing. And like I said, with all this grease on the outside and all down the body of the the uh, strut, that is we going. So it's going in the trash. In the spare trash metal pile. Got that rim. The rim go back on. Trash. Now I have to I don't think they matter on the size they go, the side they go on. They don't say R or anything on this one. So, I'm going to cut these straps off. And see if we can get these things installed. As you see, the car looks like it's leaning. I've only done the pad, the yeah, the passenger rear side, I've done the driver side yet, and it's already higher. But let's see when I uh, pull the e-brake down and see if it uh, I know it might drop down because you know e-brake help holds it up some most of the time. Drop down a little bit. But it's still higher on this passenger side, so I'm gonna get the other side done. So it'll be even out. Might pull it up a little bit too. So here we go. New struts and it's still low in the back. I don't know what I did. I ain't doing anything different than what it was on there. We ain't at home. I've been driving to work every day this week. Been doing good besides the oil because of the daggone gasket leaking. But hey, we are here in the streets with this thing. I did, but uh, I showed uh, on the Honda clip right before this one. Uh, I didn't put the new struts in there, but for some reason it still rides rough as heck. I need to get new tires because those are to the max. I took them off uh, when I was doing the uh, struts. They're so dry rotted, it's like, it's not even cracks anymore, it's just lines in the tires. All around the whole tire. Yeah. So I gotta hurry and get some, some new tires in the back, and then when these brakes are locking up, when they used to lock up before I changed it. California, no, 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 not California, but the, uh, the brakes, um, these are warped, so when I do go to stop, the whole front end shakes, so, I might get some more, uh, rotors, uh, just gonna get them off eBay, uh, I might get the drill slider, I might get the regular, uh, I comment below, and, uh, y'all say which ones that might be better for the application, I just want something newer, and the drill slider, was what I was leaning towards because I like how they look. They give the aggressive look, like performance-wise. Um, yeah, I'll get back too, but I'll get the back 
with the road with the pads as well because they're wearing down. It's not as they got a little bit of life left. All right, well, y'all let me know what I should do with that thing. I got a windshield too, so uh, all right. All right, on this segment here, it's a new day. Uh, I just got these in the mail, my rotors. I'm replacing them because these are warped. When I hit the brakes, my front end shakes so bad. Because before I changed these brake holes, um, it was uh, the brakes was locking up. So um, I changed the brake hoses and I guess it's fixed the problem because they haven't locked up since. But when they were locked up, they got so hot that it warped them. And my steering wheel just shakes like really bad when I hit the brakes. So I'm going to be replacing them today with these eBay brand drill slotted rotors. Um, so I'm, I'm going to be using the uh, impact for the, you know, the wheels and to get this. On these rotors, you got two screws here. They're impact screws. You gotta use the impact tool for it. I don't have the whole tool. All I need is this right here to go on the impact driver or wrench, whatever. And one of these right here. That's all you need. It works out. It works out real great. Um, I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna get these off. I'll show y'all what's going on. Well, upon taking this wheel off, I noticed something. Look at all that grease. So apparently my freaking axle has a hole in it. Look at it. It's everywhere. So I guess who will be getting a passenger side axle now? Dang it. Well, There's that. But for the time being, I'm going to replace these rotors. See these rotors? They're pretty old. I mean, they're original rotors for the car. Um, see, there's those two screws I was telling you about here and there. Once you uh, put the impact on it and hit it one time, it come right off. See, I got new pads on here. But I'm not trying to ruin them, so I'm just going to change these rotors out. So uh, let's get this uh, caliper off so we can continue. Now that I have the caliper off, it's time to break these uh, screws off. Like I said, it's easy to do with this uh, impact. Just uh, like I said, get this in right here. Turn the setting to one because you don't want to strip this thing out and just hit it boom there you go and they're both off well, loose now they're both off and here we have this rotor still hot old and crusty now we're gonna go new and trusty if I put this on or any rolls I do you have to spray these off with some brake clean because they come with oil on them so they're not rusty when the shipping and as well over time they don't rust but I already know with these being cheap, they're gonna rust. So I'm not worried about the rust because those rust are right there and they're the original. Uh, so let's throw these things on and get ready. Let's see. There you have it. The rotor, rotor is on. I'm um, now gonna put the caliper back on and put the wheel back on, and this side will be done. Besides the uh, pumping the brakes part, but you know that's the simple part. 
Anywho, let's uh get this done. And there you have it. This side uh, complete. So uh, we're gonna get the other one done. So we can take it for a test run and see if they still have the vibration. If I had more vibration, it could be something else. Or them pads might be trash now, even though they're brand new. Let's get this done so we can take for the ride. Okay, we're back in the yard. One in the driveway. That was it. That was the problem right there. Now it's smooth. But there's some rubbing over here. So I don't know. You can see the lines on there. They're not wearing even, I tell you that. So hopefully it works itself out. Um because it did get quieter as I pulled in the driveway. Well, as, as I went along the, around the block, it was making the noise. I was like, that don't sound good. So hopefully um, it works itself out. You know, the brake fluid flowing again like it's supposed to. Uh, yeah. So that's, there you have it right there. I'm back. Still ugly and trash. Thin. Well, not thin. Not that bad. So I'm going to have to get some pads. But when I do that, I'm going to get the pads and rotor for the rear. So I can be matching all the way around. Yep. That's it. Don't forget to like and comment if you have a you want to talk about anything uh i will see y'all on the next one adios